When you put the bin out nowadays, more often than not, the number of yellow lids is on the rise. At my house, we have two, and I thought that meant we were getting pretty good at recycling. Perversely, though, it doesn't. We could be doing better. And by that, I don't mean getting a third bin. This is Catherine. Now, she has one yellow bin, a small, empty, very rarely put out yellow bin. Not because she doesn't care. In fact, it's because she cares more than most of us. Catherine, tell us about the lack of waste that goes into your bins. Well, Chrissy, I like to think of it more as resources rather than waste. So um, I prefer not to throw anything into those, those bins, either the compost bin or the recycling bin, if I, unless I really, really need to. Um, I went out to the Resource Recovery Centre. I was horrified at how much plastic was in the um, compostable waste there from the green top bin. Um, I heard how it really reduces the recovery rate. Um, plastic bags everywhere from people using them in their kitchen bins. So I decided I would be part of the solution. So, Catherine, why does very little go into your kitchen bins? Well, I like to get creative, think of um, different things that I can use um, otherwise recyclable items for, because of course reuse is much, much better than recycling, which still takes energy. Um, as far as the compost bin in my kitchen, I really hardly ever put anything in there now because I have chooks. The chooks are amazing. They'll just eat what you know other people would call you know food weight, kitchen scraps. Um, a worm farm is really good. Do you love your worm farm? Oh, the worm farm is good, but it hardly gets a look in because the chickens, you know, eat most things. Some things, um, since neither chickens nor worms have teeth, are too big for, for either of those, and I put them in a cold compost um, dalek outside. And that just, gener just gradually breaks down, it enriches the soil underneath, the worms come up and have a feed. But um, it takes longer to do that, but it is just a way of keeping um, smelly waste out of landfill. So Catherine, I'm going out, I'm planning on going out and doing my shopping. How can I reduce the amount of waste that I produce? Take your bags with you. Um, if you might be tempted to have a coffee, if you think you might be um, thirsty while you're out, take a thermos or a travel mug. Um, take, um, pack a lunch, it'll be yummier anyway. Um, and you can even get reusable cutlery. I have a little pouch that has got bamboo cutlery that just saves me have a, having to ever use plastic forks. What sort of things do you look for in the shopping centres when you're, when you're buying your produce? Uh, I, go, I buy bulk food, typically. I, I go very quickly through a supermarket because there's almost no aisles that I'm interested in. I, I tend to buy my fruit and veg at markets and then I might go to somewhere like Kakula Sisters to buy my seeds, nuts, grains, beans, dried fruit in bulk. And then I just top up my old orange juice containers. A great way to reduce the amount of paper coming to your home is to make sure you have one of these little fellas on your letterbox. It immediately reduces the amount of recyclables coming in. With a few changes, you can make a real difference to the amount of waste produced in your household. Catherine may be a hard act to follow, but if she's inspired you, visit recycleright.net.au or download the app from the App Store or Google Play.